Coming up next on HDMI Test Bench, we give you part three of our review series exploring THX's new HDMI interconnect cables developed in cooperation with Pixel Gen Design. This time around, we're looking at the longest length of the series. That's a 15 meter active fiber optic cable. We'll break down its technologies and put it through a full physical and functional workout. Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd Anderson with the Home Theater Forum, avnirvana.com. And today we're giving you a first look at a brand new series of cables manufactured through a partnership between THX and Pixel Gen Design. Now, Pixel Gen is a Canadian company specializing in HDMI technology, and they've helped craft nine lengths of HDMI cables that are being sold with the THX badge. On this episode, we're moving into active fiber optic cables that are sold in three different lengths. You can see them right there on your screen with the longest length topping out at 15 meters or 49 feet. And that's the version that THX and Pixel Gen Design supplied to us for testing. As I've discussed in the past two installments of this review series, THX wanted to create a stable of cables that lessens the load on the consumer from a decision-making perspective. You won't find technology overlaps where there's both an active and passive version of the same length. Uh, they've done all of the legwork here for you using only one type of technology, which allows you to grab the length you need, plug it in, and really not think twice about whether or not you should have gone with an active cable or a passive cable. Last month, we interviewed THX's Stephen Martz and Jack McDougall of Pixel Gen Design on our Avia Nirvana live stream show. I'll drop a link to that in the description. There's all sorts of tech talk and background information about the THX Pixel Gen relationship and the development of these cables. If you enjoy that sort of detail, definitely go and check it out. All right, back to our review. And here's a look at some of the features promised by THX with its HDMI cables. You can see there up to 48 gigabits per second, which allows for 8K 60 Hertz video. HDMI 2.1B compliance. So assuming you have equipment with these capabilities, you'll be able to enjoy all of the advanced HDMI features you see on the screen. The cables are validated to meet the highest THX standards, which include maximized 8K to 10K HDMI equipment compatibility, in-system reliability, stringent fitness to application testing, hot plugging, power sequencing, and time-lapsed pixel error testing. And lastly, THX promises the smallest cable diameter, ensuring minimal bend radius and encouraging maximum flexibility without compromising reliable signal delivery. Here's a look at the packaging for this 15 meter active cable. And you can see it's quite a bit different than what we've seen from shorter lengths. No more plastic bags, but a box with an internal tin lined with rigid foam. And, you know, we've talked about recyclability and THX in the past, and the box is definitely recyclable, but this tin is actually meant to be kept as a collectible. And uh, they're actually part of a limited run of 500. So if this is something you'd like to add to your movie room, you might wanna hop on board and make a purchase right now. Now, this movie 10 isn't as robust as the heavier film cases that I remember from grade school back in the 1970s and early 1980s, but it's a really fun add-on, especially for movie fans that remember the THX deep note introductions that would play at uh, local movie theaters. So really, really nice addition. We do have an ultra HDMI certification label on the outside of the box. Unlike the scannable badges found on older ultra high speed cables, you don't need the HDMI app to scan the labels on these THX cables, uh, including this one. All you need to do is point your phone's camera at it, zap the QR code, and we'll take you to a certification page showing you specs and confirmation information. And as I've said before, make sure you can scan that label as it protects you from purchasing a counterfeit or bogus product. So this is an easy product to open. Flip the lid, crack the 10, and you're in. And you can see there the cable is secured by Velcro ties. That's a nice addition. Capped by these soft plug head protectors. Now these are really unlike anything that I've ever seen associated with an HDMI uh, cable in the past. 
Uh, they're definitely different than those rigid white caps that you usually find attached to cables when you bring them out of their packaging. Uh, but these are nice because if you drop one on the floor, they're not gonna give you a painful experience if you step on it. Now, you'll notice that the casing on this cable is a PVC weave. And as I pointed out in the first two reviews of this THX series, we've seen something similar on another cable that was sent to us and it didn't hold up to the stress of tight bends and rough movements. And that's not the case with these THX cables. They're very pliable and the casing remains gripped together and married to the cable as you move it around. And PixelGen tells me that's by design and it's something that they helped brainstorm with the cable manufacturing facility to get it right. One thing you'll notice about this cable is that it's different than the THX passive cables. The plug heads are actually different colors. The black head is labeled source and the gold head is labeled display. And that's because this cable is directional. You can only plug it in to a source and a display in one direction. So pay very close attention to this detail. All right, here's a look at physical measurements. And uh, it's worth mentioning that the overall length of the cable, uh, which is 49 feet, did measure out to be uh, 49 feet. So that all checks out. And while the length of the head, including the reinforcement where the cable connects to the head, is just a little longer than the average length we found on HDMI test bench, the cable is thin and has an unusually tight static bend radius. Operationally, that means you need less than three inches of space between a wall and the backside of a component to plug this cable in without putting undue stress on the cable or the HDMI port. And that's better than average. So in terms of THX's claim that this cable is thin and flexible with a minimum bend radius, they really nailed it. Now, to test the cable, we tapped the power of Meridio's AK Fox & Hound, a high quality cable testing kit that allows us to see exactly what kind of data the cable can pass. Just as a little background, uh, this kit's HDMI 2.1 capabilities run up to 40 gigabits per second, and there's a good reason for that. Most HDMI 2.1 chips you'll find on various equipment today that is in 2024, they operate up to 40 gigabits per second because 48 gig chips are just exorbitantly expensive. Uh, this particular Meridio AK test kit costs about 2,500 bucks. And according to Meridio, adding 48 gigabits per second performance would have made it too expensive for the market. Hence, we're talking in terms of 40 gigabits per second in testing. And to be honest, folks, I feel comfortable extrapolating performance up to 48 gigabits per second using this kit. All right, so here you can see the 15 meter length being tested. First, we entered the kit's cable test mode where I confirmed a solid five volt connection and its ability to pass the aforementioned 40 gigabits per second, and there's no issue. Then we asked the kit to push through an 8K signal, 60 hertz, 10 bit color, HDR10, HDCP 2.2 engaged, in addition to all eight channels of audio, and it can do that too. And these testing scenarios, just like that, I used them, I went down the ladder of throughput from there, running through variations of 4K and 1080p signals, and there were zero issues, everything performed exactly as intended. So on the test bench, Meridio's AK Fox and Hound kit gives this cable a solid thumbs up. Now to some real world testing where I tested this cable with a number of different 4K sources just to confirm its ability to hold a stable connection. And those sources included a Roku 4K streaming box, an Apple TV 4K player, a Strato C 4K player, and a Panasonic UDP A24 K disc player. And I ran these connections between all of those sources and a Storm Audio ISP preamp, but also directly to a 4K display. And in every scenario, the cable held a really nice, strong quality connection. Here's a look at a connection between the UDP 820 disc player and a JVC 4K projector playing Gemini Man in 4K 60 Hertz and there's our confirmation that it's pushing through exactly what we need. Also, it's worth mentioning that I tested a hot plug scenarios and this cable had zero issues running normally when plugged and unplugged from equipment 
that's powered on. All right, folks, here's the bottom line. This cable is well deserving of the HDMI test bench stamp of approval. It's packaged well. I love the addition of this collectible 10. Its build quality is robust and it's easy to handle. It works exactly as intended. I have absolutely zero complaints about this cable. Pricing for all three THX fiber optic cables, I would say it's far from budget, but it's not as expensive as it could be. Uh, it starts right around $299 and runs up to $399, which places these cables on the higher end of the pricing spectrum. But we've tested some other brands that have cost two to three times as much. And what we do know with this cable is that from a build quality perspective and functionality perspective, it is really spot on and THX gives you exactly what it says it will. I'll drop links to these cables down in the description and you can order them directly from Pixel Gen Design. You also can do so with free shipping on orders over 99 bucks. And just a note, AV Nirvana does not receive any sort of commission from sales. All right, that's all I have for you today. Make sure you come join our home theater community on the forums at avnirvana.com. And we'll see you next time on HDMI Test Bench.